Hey guys, it is Vivian, so welcome back to another video. And then this is going to be now another episode of my How I series. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my farm runs. Now, you can do a farm run every hour and a half, so about 90 minutes. And with the gear setup I'm going to be using, you guys should be able to adapt to it. And um, the only difference really is that uh, there's two differences really. That's with the completionist cape, and the other one is the Trollheim teleport sp uh, the Trollheim teleport spot. Um, you can switch out the completionist cape with an Ardo and cloak. Um, obviously one through four. If you have, I think it's just the four that has an unlimited uh, RD patch teleports. Uh, which you really, really want that. That would be really, really good. And you'll be able to make a lot more money if you have that cloak. And if you have a Trollheim tablet chipped, you'll be able to swap that out for the uh, Trollheim teleport spot. And obviously, with the, seeing as I've got the completions cape, I've, I've obviously done the livid farm, so I can actually use the Trollheim teleport spot. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to show you guys my setup really quickly. I do recommend having a, um, a quick loadout for this as well. So if I just quickly click uh, my first one, obviously I've got the... Oh, GG farming potion three, so I could don't actually. Okay, that's a. I guess that's a problem. Um, let's quickly get one of these out. But if I explain my inventory setup real quick, I've obviously got some uh, lore runes, nature runes, astral runes. They are for the fertile soil, as well as the uh, Trollheim teleport and the Cathabi teleport. Now for this, you want to be on uh, lunar spell books uh, primarily, just so you can use fertile soil as opposed to super compost. Um, so Witch Doctor, I believe this gives a little bit of bonus, bonus experience or something like that. I just wear it just for the hell of it, as well as wearing the Witch Doctor mask so I can teleport to the uh, Herbal Habitat in which I can um, farm my Eugene seeds. And the Eugene herbs are used to make the farming potion. Obviously, you want as many farming potions as you can if you're going to be doing this a lot. Um, the Master Green Fingers already, this can be bought off the store. The uh, I think it's the uh, the loyalty point store for a few a few thousand loyalty points. The Falador Shield, obviously acquired in game for a little bit um, extra experience at the um, at the what patch is it? It's the patch north of Draenor. It's south of Falador. That one there, um, just above the Cabbage Teleport, but that's really not essential. Um, the Zerker Ring is just for a teleport when you've completed the uh, farm run. Obviously, the Juju Farming Potion to get more yield. The Completion Escape for the teleport. Um, the Explorer's Ring for the teleport. Um, Varrock, these, these two items out here, they're just for teleporting at the very end. And we've also got the Ecto Fire for the teleport. And like I said before, it's very, very uh, recommended that you guys actually have um, some sort of teleport at the end. And you guys have um, either the Master Green Fingers Aura as well as the Juju Farming Potion to increase your yield, the maximum yield. So what I like to do is I like to teleport to the Ectophile first because this is the longest run and obviously when you're going to be drinking the Juju Farming Potion you want to be limiting your run as much as possible. You want to be limiting the um, the distance ran. So always activate your Master Green Fingers Aura first because that lasts for 20 minutes and then you do your Juju Farming Potion second. We'll do your Magic Secretaires every single time you pick from the, uh, from the herb patch and then just grab these herbs. At this stage, I'm doing tall stools, but I've just bought 100 dwarf weed seeds uh, because I believe the dwarf weeds are more profitable than the tall stools and they will probably be more reliable when it comes to selling them. Um, now, I don't really have a set order in which I teleport. I kind of just do whatever. I just make sure I'll do all the five teleports and it's not really re reliable if I just look at my seeds because... Um, I have got. I think it's a dungeoneering thing, where you can actually you have you have some sort of chance of re retrieving a seed, so you actually save quite a bit of money if you do that, um, which is always great. But what I like just make sure I use my um, ecto file and get my three three non uh, three non rune teleports out of the way, and then just do my teleports at the end. So I guess that's probably going to be the um, be the way I remember uh, which teleports I have to go. And you should also be using your uh, grimy herbs on the two leprechaun just to save you a lot of uh, inventory space. I remember the Falador shield for a little bit of extra experience in the Falador's, in the Falador patch. And this is the good thing about having the completion escape is that I can actually teleport straight to the Trollheim um, Trollheim spot. Now, if you don't have that teleport, um, I recommend doing the Trollheim run first and then using your Juju, juju farming potion as well as your Master Green Fingers Aura here first, because obviously it's the longest distance to run from the teleport to the actual patch, so you want to be making sure you um, making sure you save a lot of time by doing that. And I've also got the teleport that tells, teleports me really, really close to Cathaby as well, which is always nice, um, but obviously it's not, much of a, um, dis it's not much of a difference between teleporting to the actual um, Cathaby spot, so don't worry too much about that. And I was very lucky, and I managed to... Um, and I was very lucky this trip. I managed to um, have no herb deaths, which is always great. Sometimes you maybe get one or two um, herbs or seeds that have actually died throughout the growing process, which is sometimes a bit annoying. Um, but you'll also you'll always make money um, if you do these sort of herbs, regardless, as long as you have the green fingers aura. 
and the Juju Farming Potion, it helps that much. As you can see, I have 52 herbs. Um, my record's about 65, I think. But once you've done those, I always run to the Juju, um, the Herbal Habitat place so I can get me some more herbs in which I can make some more Juju Farming Potions, but this really isn't a necessity. This does, this makes you know... I guess it kind of makes you money because it gives you the Juju Farming Potion, but this really um, isn't a necessity if you have a ton of Juju Farming Potions. And then once you've um, picked your last patch, uh, feel free to use your Tockle Zo Ring or you can use your Varric Teleport or whatever teleport you have away. If you don't bring one of those, just use your uh, Home Teleport because it's closest to a bank. And I've always found the, the teleport that's closest to the bank is the Birth or Teleport, so you can always use that. Or you can use the Lunar Teleport. They're, they're, quite, um, they're both quite close to the uh, bank. And I'm going to quickly show you the profit made um, doing this farm run. So I guess I can show you right here, actually. So if I, bring up, if I bring up my price checker right now, obviously the five torsal seeds is 147k, and the 52 uh, grimy torsals is 394k. And if you subtract the greater number from the smaller number, you've I actually made a profit of 247k within these five minutes, which is absolutely fantastic. And that's basically all for the video, guys. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, let me know with a like and a comment. But apart from that, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.